Hell <clears throat> yeah. In the building, in the building, in the building, in the building, in the building. On a Friday, on a Friday, in the building, in the building. All right, we have backstage, we have backstage. Let me put it in, let me put it. Ooh, pause, pause, pause. Um, Let's go. Mm -hmm. Well, the step backstage. I spelled backstage wrong, terrible. Give me one second. Word of step backstage with. I spelled backstage wrong. Lord have mercy. Oh, no, I spelled it right. Backstage with Wilson Earl. Okay, what's that? All right, let me pin it. All right, now I'm here. Let's get busy. If y'all want the live to start, let's get ready. I need to see those likes. Let me see those likes. Press those likes. Press those likes. Press those likes if Wilson Pearl is in the building. Press those likes. Let's keep the energy going. Let's get the energy going. Let's go. Where we at now? Oh. Yes. We about to get them in the building. Let's get them in the building. I'm good. How are you? I'm man. I'm out here. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. 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 All right. Let me introduce myself, and then I will introduce the world to you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to World of Step Backstage. Right now for the interview, I am your host, King Leo, aka Sexy Chocolate. <laughs> Sexy Chocolate. <laughs> and I'm back. And today I am here with the team. Wilson Pearl. Did I say that correct? Yes, you did. Wilson Pearl. All right. Wilson Pearl's in the building. Now, Wilson Pearl is in the building. I see some of them saying Pearl World. Y'all better see those lights. Come on now. Put those lights and press that like button because we got your coach here and they about to introduce y'all to the world. So please introduce your team where y'all from. Let's go. We are the motivated, dedicated, and sophisticated Wilson Pearls from Rochester, New York. All right. Um, my all-female step team. They are in grades 9 through 12, and we believe that college is the number one thing. Amen. All right. Do you have any seniors on your team right now that are supposed to graduate uh, in 2020? Yep, we have uh, five of them. Uh, shout them out right now. Let's go. We're going to do a graduation. To Cheyenne Miller. Cheyenne. Chris Montia King. I had Chris her since Montia she was King. a ninth, grade ninth grader. We got Samaria Henry. All right. We got Mariana Parks. Okay. Um. So we got Chris. We got Jade. All right, Jade. Uh, my memory is awful. So we got Chris Montia. We got Cheyenne. We got Samaria, Chris Montia, and Mariana. Those five. All right. Can we give a quick round of applause to the seniors of your team? All right. Congratulations, seniors. May you move on to greater pastures in life. Continue doing the great things that you Oh, and I forgot one. How could I forget her? Because she worked so hard. Talia Maddox. All right, Talia. We congratulate yeah, Talia Maddox. She's a All hard right. worker. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Congratulations. All right. So please tell us how long has this team been in existence? How long have you been coaching this team? And where are you guys from? Give us that info. Well, this team was originated, started in 1995 in Rochester, New York. Okay. Um, this is the only team in Rochester that's been going strong since their existence. No breaks, no name changes, no swaps, no building swaps, no we're down for construction. Wilson <laughs> Pearls is the only team in Rochester who has been going strong since 1995. Amen, um, right. 
I took over Wilson in 2008 because mm-hmm. I was a graduate of the high school I stepped for the male team, the Wolfpack. Shout out to the Wolfpack. Um, All right. So, <laughs> so 2008, I took over and I've been coaching ever since. Okay, so how do you how do you enjoy coaching uh, this group this, this the group that you have this year? How was that? Um, you know, with things that had got cut short due to the you know the pandemic. But how was the year going so far with the team? Before, okay, so this yeah, group before. of girls that I had, the this group of girls that I had before, like this was like my fastest learners I had in a long time. Okay, we were able like before past years, I wasn't able to like teach as a whole, and we all move on together. But this group of girls, they all learned fast, and we were able to get more done because okay. they learned so fast, and they were like hungry and like in Rochester you really don't see that like some of the kids are like oh I'm just stepping to look cute for her like your boy and stuff like that but these girls this year were very hungry they were very hungry so I can say out of teams that I had in a long time um they were hungry and we under we actually went undefeated this year here in Rochester okay yeah because I'm, I'm from the Bronx and I drove up to Ro- Rochester before Oh, you did? Man, that was a drive. <laughs> <laughs> what Man, did you, that was a drive. We did a you, show out there. I can't remember exactly. Step up? St- step up? Nah, this was like a couple of years. This was like, no lie, I'm going to say like maybe four or five years ago. So I yeah. It was, Probably it was, was step up. Yeah, I think so. And we, yeah. you know, we just special guests, but that drive, we drove there, performed, and literally drove back. <laughs> Woo, yeah, we for, were for sure. Cornfields, and I was like, what? I yeah, said, right. Rochester is deep. <laughs> Oh, well, we ain't the cornfields now. You got to drive through the cornfields to get to Yeah, we had to drive through the cornfields <laughs> and to get to that school. I was like, whoo. So um, how does your team feel about, you know, performing in a virtual competition? I, I, I'm not too sure if this is your first virtual competition. But it is. How it did is. they feel about it? How did they feel about it? They kind of like, because um, when we walk in a building, our name ring bells. Like our name, like wherever we go in, they know the pros is here. We hear in the crowd screaming. Pearls, they going crazy, but now it's virtual. You can't hear nothing but me. Like, y'all tell y'all families to vote for y'all so y'all can win. <laughs> yeah. So that was a big adjustment to them. They really didn't. The virtual thing, we really don't. Yeah, this is our first time. Yeah, you know, with, with, you know, with World of Step, first of all, shout out to my partners, uh, 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 Art of Stepping, and also the National uh, Stepping Association, along with the Players Club. We are the alliance. Um and, you know, we just as for because all of us that's part of line are performers also. Right. And we just we just didn't want Step to die out just because we didn't have a stage. You know what I mean? We want right. Step and Steppers from all around the world to, to come together and, and show that through this hard time that we can still put on a good show. We don't need a stage, you know, because, as you know, Step does not get the same recognition as dance you know, as dance, like, we're not on the Grammys, we're not on this, we're not on that. Like right, dances. right. But in order to knock those doors down, all of us as a collective have to come together and show these TV companies and these art and these artists, like, yo, Step is here, Step has been around forever, we're here to knock the doors down. So, how did the girls feel about actually competing against teams from all around the world? Because, you know, you're used to just going against people from Rochester or, or New York or Pennsylvania, whatever, but y'all actually going against Thailand, the United Kingdom, from Peru, from Venezuela, you know, y'all competing against teams from all around the world. How did the girls feel about that? And yourself. So something about my girls and myself is like, we cocky. Like, we humble, but we cocky. So we can go against people in China. We can go against people in Puerto Rico. Our confidence level is like, we still going to come out on top because even though we are steppers, nobody really do what we do. Because I taught them, like, you got to have confidence in whatever you do because we can't be worried about the people in Puerto Rico or we can't be worried about the people in Peru. We wish them all good luck, but in the end, we hope to come out on top because we feel like we do what we do and ain't nobody else doing what we do. So we feel like we set the bar high, so we ain't really worried about too much other people. The virtual thing giving us more worry than, like, the competition thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's nothing wrong with being being confident. You know, I tell people that all the time. Like me, I call myself the goat a step. Like I, I say it, and I, I say it with a straight face. Oh yeah, that's what we do. We, we you know what I'm saying that we so, the best around. Yeah, yeah. So it's not it's not it's nothing wrong with like like you said. You can do that as long as you stay humble and remember that we still all need each other. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's how you get this check. That's how you get this paper. You know what I mean? Because if you can be great, but if you don't show greatness to others, you'll never get that. You'll never get that big check. 
And at the end yeah. of the day, that's, that's what we all trying to get. Because we so, had this lady from Rochester, Courtney Davis, shout out to her. She okay. actually brought that concept into Rochester because before mm-hmm. we all used to, her and like we used to do this because we like were competitors, like mm-hmm. all of us around, but she stepped in and was like, no, we got a bigger dream. We need to show people outside of Rochester that Rochester is great. So y'all feuding each other. Y'all need to stop that, come together mm-hmm. and show everybody. So with her help, we were able to go out and branch off collectively as yeah. Rochester to show them that we were good. Yeah, definitely, definitely, man. That's how I got to be. You got to be confident in what you do because if you don't be confident in yourself, who's going to be confident in you? You know exactly. I mean? You know what I mean? So let's get down to the routine. Tell us the name of your routine that you guys submitted and tell us how did it come about. Oh, our our routine is called Tron, like Tron Legacy, the movie. Yeah, the movie, yes, yes. So uh, it came about just as a funny story. We do this competition here called U of R at the University of Rochester BSU Step Show. Okay. Every year we're able to pick our own theme. So me and my uh, other coaches, we picked the theme, but the U of R BSU panel came back to us and was like, y'all got to do a Disney movie. So we like, everybody who in the competition got to do a Disney movie. I'm freaking out because I'm like, yo, we already picked our show. We about to do this and we ain't doing no Disney. Disney is so stupid. <laughs> but then I have to like, think, I had to think about it. One of my, um, one of the coaches, she came with the idea was like, yo, we should do Tron. And I'm like, what is Tron? And I'm like, oh, I never, man. I never seen Tron yeah. before. So I'm like, no, we ain't gonna do Tron. We ain't gonna do that. I think we was gonna do something like Disney villains or something like that. Okay. But then I, I had a dream about. I was like, let me just check out Tron to see what Tron was about. Mm-hmm. And then when I seen Tron, I'm like, yo, let's do Tron. Yeah, Tron is Tron is an epic movie. From you know, I'm not telling my age, but I did see it when I was younger. But uh, <laughs> yeah, that's why. I, you know, I know I know exactly what Tron is. So um, during this routine, what would you say was the most difficult part in the routine, like for you as the coach or maybe the girls, like getting that part together? Or maybe, was it the intro? Was it the costuming? Was it, you know? So for me, it's, for me as a coach and our, the coaching team, the hardest part was those god dog on costumes. Because okay. we got a, a leotard and we just glue what well, we put these lights on them. And the hardest part is like, the way we thought the lights were gonna go, yeah, they didn't. So when we first got, we was like, "Oh, we gotta put the light, the costume on the girl and have her put it on, and we gonna sew the lights on." Her. So we tried that; that didn't work. So we like, "Okay, we gonna have her put it on, then we gonna hot glue it on her." That didn't work because it was burning them. Mm-hmm. So the costumes for the coaching staff, it was the costumes and those lights, making sure they stay on. For the girls, it was making sure they didn't turn the lights on when they wasn't supposed to. Yeah, and worried about me like getting at it when we, they get off because <laughs> like the intro is like they sneak on the stage okay, and then the lights just pop on like one, two, three, four. Mm-hmm. So that was the hardest part for them because we practiced that so long. I yelled, I threw stuff. The other coaches yelled, threw stuff. Like we went home because <laughs> we like, if you turn the lights on at the wrong time, you won the surprise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what? You know what's so funny? I'm glad I'm not the only coach that throws stuff. <laughs> Yo, it get, it gets real. It gets yeah. real. Like, like it gets real. Like be, I don't went home. Uh-huh. <laughs> like I'll be telling you know when I'll be like a lot of my stuff is when they go on to become coaches or, or or you know work at other schools and stuff, and then they'll call me. They'll be like, "Yo, now I get it. Now I get it." I, yes. say, I told you. <laughs> I said you thought it was easy, huh? You thought right. Easy, you know. <laughs> now 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 you understand. So. Okay, so now we got the, 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 the stressful part. What was the greatest part to you about the routine? Like when you, the girls did it, it was on time. It was like, yes, yes, we got it right. You know what I mean? It was perfect. So what part in that routine was like the greatest moment for you? The greatest moment for me was when the competition actually started. Everybody, because like in our town, we're kind of like the most hated of whatever we do. Like, so no matter what we do, it could be like perfect score. Mm-hmm. The people in our town are just be like, oh, that was wet. Mm-hmm. So for me, when they turned those lights on in the beginning, on time, and the whole crowd went crazy, that was the best part for me. Okay. And the, and then and the girls, they felt good, like, after, they, after the whole Yeah, after the people was crying, like, you know, <laughs> I don't know if your kids do it, but some of my kids, like, they're over dramatic when they get off the stage. Mm-hmm. They have this asthma that they never oh, had yeah. before. I mean, listen, man, I, <laughs> one show, 
I did at the Apollo, I, I, I had pneumonia, but I, I was like, yo, I'm doing the show. And I said, but have the ambulance ready as soon as we finish. And I literally performed, and literally as soon as I hit the side of the stage, I just passed out. And I, I went, <laughs> went right to the hospital, and we won. That's all that mattered. But that's what it takes. You know, when you are performing, you want to make sure that that audience is see the passion that you have. You know, it's sacrifice. You know what I mean? It's sacrifice. So Yeah, it was, like, crazy, too, because it's like they worked so hard for the show. Yeah. And when we got there, like, I get these feelings, and I don't, like, I get these feelings when they somebody about to play us or something. Mm -hmm. And I looked at my other coach. I'm like, yo, they about to play us right now. And she like, no, that's too hot. The judges, everybody went crazy. It's too hot. Mm -hmm. So they say the second place, second place team. Mm -hmm. And then I just feeling, I'm like, yo, they about to play us. They about to play us. So they called another team as the winner. So I'm sitting there. I'm like, oh, it's okay, y'all, because I teach my kids. Rather we want to lose, we good. Yeah. So I'm sitting there. I'm packing my stuff and taking my kids out. Something told me to go to the DJ booth and request my judging sheet. Yeah. So when they announced the winner, they didn't announce my team. They just was like, the third place team had a, a 240. Okay. And I'm in my head, I'm like, a 240? This is impossible. So I go get my scoring sheets. I add them up quickly from my phone. Yeah. 520. <laughs> was y'all so score? Was our score. So yeah. in the end, we end up being a winner. Yeah. So it was a big thing like that. So I was, this show just like was so nerve wracking. It was just mm -hmm. like, we uh, with that we, they, we thought we lost come to find out we won but I just was like so it was good like yeah. well, I don't look, even know like how to say you, you know the one thing you showed your kids during that time was that you handled it professionally you know what I'm saying because right. they had like like you said at the end of the day a competition is a competition um people have their own views of what they think step is and what they st think step isn't and one competition doesn't make or break you or, or you know says there's right. no one competition that says you are the greatest of all teams ever in life forever you know what i mean because so, in the end you just not what the judge is looking for that day yeah yeah you know what i'm saying so i'm i'm, I'm glad you said that and i'm glad you said how you handle it professionally like you said you know what let's pack our stuff you know what but let me go after yeah stuff, we said, I said let me, i'm like they quickly the um the team they did announce um shout out to them they were so like oh here go y'all stuff like it's okay <laughs> We knew, like, we knew y'all won. Yeah. But here go y'all, because they even stuck around, too. They like, no, this crazy. Mm -hmm. It's impossible. But here go y'all stuff. And I'm like, thank you. So I was great yeah. for that. But I always teach the kids, like, we lose, we the best. We win, mm -hmm. we the best. We the best regardless. Win yeah. or lose. So I like to teach them that. And they're like, I think that's what help us get, like, stay so positive and stuff. Okay, so listen, we about to get up out of here, but before we get up out of here, let's do two things. One thing, leave uh, a message for your students, because I know, you know, we, we can't see them face to face. So what is the last thing you want to say to your students? Because a lot of them is on here. They all pressing those hearts. They showing love. So what do you want to say to your students, your team? Good job. Um, I'm proud of y'all. Like, we did what we had to do this year, even though it was Corona was hating on us. I think, like I told y'all, I think Corona didn't want us to be great. They knew we was going to be massacred everywhere. So they didn't want to just give a little, like, humble the beast a little bit. But I'm proud of, I'm proud of you guys. Um, we still doing great things. Even though we're not doing what we plan to do, we got opportunities like this one, and we're grateful for that. No problem, no problem. So now you got... 40 seconds to tell the world that's watching. Once again, we got people in Peru, Thailand. We got people in Venezuela, West Africa. I forgot West Africa earlier. Oh, my God. We got people in West Africa, Senegal, that's watching, that's learning about your group. So let them know why they should vote for you. Go ahead. You should vote for us because not only are we a STEP team, we're a college prep program that ever that has 100% graduation rate and 100% college admission every year that we have been existent. But if you go check out that Tron video on the worldofstep.com, you will see that that's some truly amazing work. And you won't hesitate to click that vote button for those Wilson Pearls. Because after you see that Tron video, you will be amazed. And you will say, I have never seen something like this again ever in my life. Let me vote for them again. You know what? Let me refresh my page. Let me vote for them again. We just some small town kids trying to make it big in this virtual competition. All right. 
So once again, ladies and gentlemen, go to www.worldofstep.com and you will see there. The, and the, the once again, the show is called Tron. Is it correct? The title yeah, it's Tron. Of the show? Yep, it's Tron. Okay, go to Tron, watch the video, vote, vote again. Once again, they are Wilson Pearl. I said it right, right? Wilson Pearls with the S. Okay, Wilson Pearls from Rochester, New York. All right, they giving you the underdog story. They coming out of a town and they representing for their whole town. So make sure you show them love. Now, before we get out of here, we have to jam out. Okay, we're going to jam out to the Hip Hop Harry to show everybody we, we, we positive right now in this pandemic. And I want all of the pearls to press those likes, press those hearts. All right, press those likes, support yourself because we about to jam out, okay? Here we go. Let me get DJ. I'm DJ. Wait a minute. Here we go. Let's make it happen, y'all. <laughs> Oh yeah, you gotta, you gotta do the leg thing. You gotta do the leg thing. I, my kids know I'm an awful dancer, and they will get me for dancing on here, <laughs> embarrassing them. Go, go Wilson, go pearls, go pearls, go pearls, go pearls. Well, thank you, my brother. God, no bless problem. You. God bless your whole team. God bless your city. And I wish you guys luck, all right? Thank you so much. Stay safe. You too. Everybody. All right, guys. Once again, that was Wilson Pearls. And they are from Rochester, New York. Uh, at 8 o'clock, I will be back with the Lethal Ladies. So tune back in at 8 o'clock. I will be interviewing the Lethal Ladies. Um, please don't forget about convention week is next week. It is $14.99. You get all access to tw over 20 different uh, classes that you can watch. We have modern, we have tap, we have light feet, we have step from different people. Um, we have great interviews coming. Uh, once again, it's $14.99. We also have um, uh, like networking with different people in the high end from different agencies and stuff like that. So you're going to want to get to convention week. It's $14.99 for everybody that competed. Yes, it's free. If you are on a team or you're solos and you competed, it is free. If you are, if you did not compete, once again, it's $14.99. It's all week. And yes, I will be doing a live class on Tuesday at six o'clock on the world of step IG live. Y'all know I'm coming with fire. Y'all know I'm coming with fire. So, Clear your thing at six o'clock and be like, oh, you know, and about to come with some goatish. So you know I'm coming with it, all right? So once again, see you guys in eight minutes while I'll be back with the Lethal Ladies. Once again, congratulations to Wilson Pearls for competing in our competition. God bless and have a good day. Thank <laughs> you.